morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm also good. So, what's your name? My name is Prabhjot Kaur. Prabhjot. How may I address you? You may address me by my first name, Prabhjot. Okay. Uh, where from are you? I'm from village Dastriwala. It is a small village with lush greenery in Patna, Punjab. Okay. May I see your ID, please? Of course, sir. This is my passport. Thank you. So, are you ready for the task one? Yes, sir. It's called the introductory pattern. I'll ask a few questions about you, so you'll have to reply those. Is it fine? Yes, sir. So, let's talk about pen or pencil. Uh, do you prefer to use pen or pencil? Uh, I prefer both pen and pencil, but it, it depends upon the situation. If I'm reading book, I prefer pencil because the pen ink marks on the no, on my novel or book, or make it shabby. Okay. Uh, what was the first time when you used pen? Well, for the first time, I used pen when I was in the fifth standard, and I have become mature. And my teacher told me that you can use pen now. Okay, in your fifth standard, you use it. Yes, sir. Okay. Have you ever given a gift of pen to someone? Of course, I have given a pen to my brother. Actually, it was a fountain pen I have given to him on when he stood first in the class. Okay. So, how would you react if someone would give you a gift of pen? I'll be definitely over the moon if someone gifted me, especially if it is my favorite pen, say a fountain pen. Okay. Uh, do you love to use any expensive pen or a cheaper? Definitely, I love to have an expensive pen because they are very they are of good quality and do not leave marks on especially on the shirts or on clothes okay very fine so this is the end of task one now we are going to talk about the task two it's called a cue card uh, i'll give you a cue card you will have just only one minute to prepare this and after that you're gonna speak uh, one or two minutes or in between i can stop to you okay so here is your cue card or you may use your paper as well as pencil to prepare this one. Uh, let's start the topic, please. Well, it is rightly said that sharing is caring. And in this contemporary era, it is quite hard to find people who are generous and kind by nature. But I'm fortunate that I know one such personality. He is none other than Mr. Sharma. He is very helpful and generous by nature. Actually, he is cool as cucumber and down to earth person. He is a teacher by profession. And after coming back from school, he provides free tuition classes to the impoverished children who are deprived of learning. Apart from it, he also provides free um, basic uh, stationery to them because they are poor to such an extent that they can't afford the uh, expenses of the stationery. I have met him in person during an award ceremony in which he was awarded for the nobleman of the city by the city council and I further talked to him about his works and he told me that he himself had lived in the poverty and he really feels sympathetic toward these children and that's the basic reason behind his ge uh, generous nature. And I was really elated because I have met such an incredible person and he's an inspiration not only for me but for all the youngsters out there and I never miss the boat uh, when, whenever I find a whenever I find a chance to join his company he's really an incredible person and he is the only person whom I know who is who help other in his spare time okay this is the end of task two now we are going to talk about our follow-ups. It's called a task three and the end of the topic. So, are you a helpful person? Of course, I'm a helpful person and I never resist myself whenever someone is uh, in need of help. And I remember once I helped an old lady whose son had kicked her out of the house because she was not capable of uh, doing household chores of her. Okay. Do people nowadays help others more than in the past? Of course, people nowadays help more than in the past because of the latest technology, the advancements are made in the technology and they have, moreover, they have more resources so that they can help more than in the past. Okay. Where from children can learn to help others, from the teachers or the parents? From my perspective, I think from both teachers and parents. Parents teach 
the children good habits from the very beginning of the very beginning stage of the child and the teacher inculcates good habits in them during the school days. What do you think that means? Uh, what kind of the professions do people help others? Well, people in all the professions help others directly or indirectly. But I think a person as a doctor, teacher, or working in an NGO are more way more helpful than others. In future, what kind of a profession do you want to choose for help others? Uh, I'll definitely be a part of a and part of an NGO who provide others help, who provides basic help to others, say for the women empowerment. Uh, for orphan child and many other things. So thank you very much. This is the end of the test. Thank you.